Hello everyone, myself Dr. Sumanth Kumar Malpatu. I am working as consultant in medical oncology and hemato oncology at Ashoda Hospital, Sikhindrabad. Now I will be briefly discussing about uh, the question that remains in everyone's mind regarding cancer. Is cancer preventable or not? Yes, there are few cancers which uh, where we can prevent uh, effectively by using a vaccine. So it, for all the cancers, uh, though we don't have any, uh, don't have a, a very effective vaccine, we do have vaccine for certain kinds of tumors like cervical cancer. So cervical cancer is one cancer where we can effectively prevent the cancer. So for preventing the cervical cancer, we have a very good vaccination that is called uh, uh, HPV vaccine. So the HPV vaccine, how it is given, to whom it will be given and uh, how many doses uh, it has to be given, uh, I will be briefly uh, mentioning to you. The HPV vaccination needs to be uh, started at as early as possible, right, beginning from 9 years of age and it can be given till 26 to 27 years of age. So if a, any, it can be given to both uh, 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 girl or boy or if anyone reaches uh, beyond uh, 27 years of age, they can still take this HPV vaccination till 45 years of age. Though its efficacy decreases, still they can uh, take this vaccination. But it is always advisable to give the vaccination right from 9 years of age to 27 years of age. And both men and women needs to be taken this vaccination. So if anyone is between 9 to 14 years of age, only two doses are sufficient, uh, that is two months apart. If anyone is beyond 15 years of age till 27 years of age, uh, uh, he or she needs to be vaccinated at least three times, that is uh, at zero, two months and at, at least after six months is the third dose. And the reason being why both men and uh, women needs to be vaccinated is that human papilloma virus is a causative agent not only for cervical cancer, it also causes some other cancers like penile cancers, vulvar ca cancer, anal carcinomas and also oropharyngeal carcinomas. So once we give this HPV vaccination, it not only prevents cervical cancer, it is also effective in preventing all these kinds of tumors. Apart from uh, preventing all these types of tumors, it also has got good efficacy in preventing anogenital warts, though those are not tumors, those anogenital warts are caused by this human papilloma virus. Apart from this uh, uh, cervical cancer that can be prevented, we have uh, hepatitis B vaccine, uh, which can even prevent the hepatocellular carcinoma that is associated with uh, chronic hepatitis B virus infection. So this hepatitis B virus, uh, uh, I mean hepatitis B vaccination can be uh, given in a three dose schedule that is zero, two and six months apart for uh, suppose if you start giving this vaccination today then next dose will be after two months and the third dose will be after six months. So what it does is it prevents any person from getting this hepatitis B infection thereby Hepatitis B, uh, when we prevent the hepatitis B infection, definitely the liver will be uh, prevented from this infection and further down the cirrhosis is related to it and also the hepatocellular carcinoma that is related to this hepatitis B virus will be also be prevented. So these are the two ways where we can effectively prevent from uh, getting a cervical cancer or other cancer that is associated with HPV virus infection and also with hepatitis B virus infection. Thank you. Like, comment and subscribe for more health updates.